Hey everyone, so if you're new to the video today, my name is Austin and I'm here to help all of you succeed in your journey through medicine. If you're here watching my video on secondary essays, I hope that you're all submitted and ready to go in your primary application and you're now just getting started on the next part of the application process. If you have not yet completed your primary application and submitted it yet, I'd recommend you check out my videos on how to write a personal statement, letters of recommendation, and the works and activities section, including the most meaningful essays. I'll go ahead and link those videos up here, so feel free to check those out. I promise you it'll be helpful. Today, we're going to be focusing on the secondary essays. I'm going to give you some tips, advice, and strategies that I think are really helpful to acing this part of your application. Before we get into today's content, I want to give a quick thank you to just all of you guys for all of your support through my YouTube channel and just helping me grow what we have here. I've just reached over about 350 subscribers and over 500 people in my Facebook group. So just growing that community, working with all of you, reading your personal statements, works and activities, and helping you put your best foot forward in this difficult application process. I appreciate you supporting me and starting this YouTube channel. I never would have thought I would hit those numbers just starting out this year. So I appreciate all the feedback and I just hope to continue working together with all of you and helping you all succeed in your medical journeys. All right then, so let's get started on today's video on the secondary essays. Looking forward to it. First tip for the secondary essay is to start early. When you submit your primary application to AMCAS or ACOMAS, it can take up to 68 weeks for it to be processed. During that time, you have plenty of opportunities to work on your secondary essay. Even if you don't know what the prompts are, you can look at for the previous years and most of the prompts will be very similar if not the exact same. So I'd recommend just going ahead and start working on those secondary essays as soon as you can after you submit your primary application. Don't worry about not getting a secondary essay. Honestly, I would say most people will get a secondary essay from every school that they apply to. Pretty much the cutoffs are very low for when they decide who to send the secondaries to. And pretty much the school has nothing to lose. In fact, they're making money off of you by having you pay to submit the secondary essay. And it doesn't hurt for them to get more information about their candidates. So from an admission perspective, most 95 to 99 percent of people will get the secondary essays. So overall, just start working on them early, start filling out the essays for every single school that you apply to in the best way that you can, and I don't expect you to write like 30 essays, so in the next part of this video we're going to break it down and I'm going to show you three very common secondary essays and what I recommend you do to make sure that you cover all your bases and have the best shot at getting accepted into medical school. So in one way or another, almost every medical school secondary prompts will ask you one of these three questions, two of the three if not all of them, and that is why this school, number two is a question about overcoming an adversity, a struggle, or a challenge, and number three is about diversity or how you contribute to a community or how you will improve the medical school, something along those lines. And in this video, I'm going to walk through each one of those and how I think you should answer them with example prompts from different medical schools. So the first one we're going to start with is why this school in particular. This will almost be on every single secondary prompt, if not all of them. So get ready to answer this prompt and have a set template ready to go that you can kind of use for each one of your schools is what I would recommend in order to save time and also just have one good cohesive template that you can use. Because overall, you're, it's going to be really difficult to write like 30 really good essays. Instead, let's have three really strong essays that you can tweak for different schools and you can edit based on what the school wants and what you want to portray particularly to that institution. So from my experience applying and also talking with many peers in the application process, what I realized is that most medical programs are similar across the board across the country. So I only apply to MD medical schools, so if you're applying to DL medical schools too, you might want to add a little bit about why you're interested in osteopathic medicine and that holistic approach. But overall, I would say that in MD medical schools, since everyone is studying for step one and preparing for the same board exams, the curriculum and all the different styles are very similar. And so you're going to be hard pressed to find drastic differences between medical programs. And that's why I still recommend when you're writing the why this medical school essay, have a general template, find two or three things that you're passionate about within medical programs and then find the similarity between three or four or five different schools you're applying to and that you can use that in the same way for each of your essays. 
So let's give it an example because I think that'll be easier to understand what I'm trying to say here. So for me, I was very interested in working with diverse patient groups and doing a student-run free clinic. So when I looked around at medical schools, I realized that pretty much all of them had some type of student-run free clinic, and so I just used that same template when I was applying to these schools and writing these secondary essays and just switched out the student-run free clinic with a specific name since a lot of the medical schools have a specific name for their you know, student-run clinic. I then talked about why I thought it was great, you know, you could collaborate with your peers, you could work in interdisciplinary groups, you can do a variety of different things, understand the clinic workflow, and also just serve impoverished communities and make a difference in different demographic areas. Another thing that I like to do with the Why This Medical School essay is to talk a little bit about each of their curriculums. This is something that might be a little bit different across the board for medical schools, but overall you're still learning the same material, they might just have a different style of presenting it. So for example, a certain medical school might have a curriculum where you're engaging with patients more often or once a week or doing you know, different types of interactions like that. Or another school has like advising houses where you can interact with M2s, M3s, M4s, and also when you get to higher level you know, medical school, you can also mentor the younger M1s as they come in. So talk about something like that if you're interested in working in those type of committees or being in an advising house and why you think that will be beneficial to you. I guess overall my point with this essay is to make sure you do your research to each of those schools, but don't go crazy on this and just you know write 30 different essays for every particular medical school you're applying to. Just try to have a general overview. Choose two or three things that you're passionate about related, related to the school and kind of find a program that fits what you're looking for at that school. And then you can kind of use the same essay template for each of these. Just make sure you make it specific to that school. And when you're applying, keep an eye on the school that you're sending your essay to so you don't make sure you send the wrong school the wrong essay because that will be a huge problem and a big mess you don't want to get yourself into. All right, so the second type of question you're going to have is the overcoming a stressful situation a challenge or overcoming adversity. So this question is not as easy to see as the why this medical school because they might ask it in a variety of different ways. So let's go ahead and read a few examples that I have from different medical schools so you can get an idea of when you want to use this second template I'm going to talk about and that's the overcoming a stressful situation essay which again you can reuse for a variety of different prompts for different schools. Alrighty, so here from Penn State it says please briefly describe a past experience where you were immersed in a situation in which you needed to adapt, collaborate, and grow as an individual and a team member in order to succeed. So when I read this question, I pretty much am just going to use the exact same essay I've already written about overcoming a challenge, adversity, or a stressful situation. Maybe tweak it a little bit so it's more specific to the prompt. Add something about teamwork or being a team member since that is what's asked in the prompt for Penn State. But overall, it's pretty much the exact same essay. So let's go through one more example just so you can see another type of way they'll ask this question. So Johns Hopkins University says, briefly describe a situation where you had to overcome adversity, include lessons learned, and how you think it will affect your career as a future physician. So it pretty much says it outright, how are you going to overcome adversity, right? And then you can also talk some more about lessons you'll learn and how that will affect your career. So like I said before, you're pretty much just using the same exact essay and adding a little bit here, a little bit there, and just tweaking it to fit the prompt. So when you're writing your essay about overcoming a difficult challenge or situation, make sure you don't just you know describe the situation and say, all right, here's a tough situation, and then I got through it. You know, I think a lot of times students miss that step in between where you need to talk about how you overcame it and walk the admissions committee step by step through how you cope with these difficult situations and how you were able to overcome the adversity that you faced. You know, as physicians in the future, we're going to be faced with a lot of difficult situations and I think the committees really want to see how we handle those situations and that's what they really get out of this essay. So make sure you tell us the steps that you took and how you overcame that challenge and you know how you can overall get a new skill and you can grow from the experience that you had and if you can, if you can apply that to how you can serve your patients as a physician or just in some way apply that to, you know, your role as a future doctor, I think that makes this essay even stronger. So an example from my application is that when I first started working as an ACT and SAT tutor, I had to figure out that students learn in a variety of different ways and you know what worked best for me and what worked best for a variety of other students might not always work best for everyone. So particularly I had a student that had trouble with the ACT and I had to find a new way to teach them in order to help them excel. And at first that was a little frustrating because I was so used to teaching in a particular way I didn't think I had to adopt a new style until you know I saw that the student needed additional help 
I reached out to my mom who's a teacher and different mentors in my life to figure out you know, the best way to approach different situations with different students. You know, taking these steps to cope, I learned that people learn in different ways and that you have to take the time to understand everyone as a unique learner to help them succeed and you know, find the most success personally. So overall, I think that I was able to connect that too to my role as a physician and how you know, I'm not just going to treat every patient the same way as another patient. You know, everyone is different, they have different circumstances, and I think just listening to someone and understanding them holistically can really apply to the medical field in a variety of ways. So that was sort of how I took a difficult situation, talked about how I overcame and the steps I took to overcome that adverse situation, and then how I can apply that into my role as a physician in the future. So that would be my recommendation to how to tackle this essay. And now we're going to move on to the third type of essay, and that is the essay on diversity. So I think people get tripped up on the diversity question because they're really caught up on just race and ethnicity, and they feel like that's all there is to diversity. But you know, you couldn't be more wrong. Diversity is all about you personally and how you're unique and all the different things that you bring to the table. So don't forget that you know everyone is diverse in their own ways. So when you're writing your diversity essay, you really want to just focus on yourself and like I said before, what you bring to the table, how you're unique and how that can benefit the culture and the community of the medical institution that you're applying to. So let's read a few examples of how they might ask this question so you get a better idea of when you want to use this template for your diversity essay. So I'm going to pull over my laptop here and give it a quick read to some of the prompts I have pulled up. So the University of Minnesota from Twin Cities says, reflect on your background and the impact it has had on developing your own values and attitudes toward others, particularly those with values different than your own. Please include how your values and attitudes will foster a positive learning environment during your training and benefit your future patients through the practice of medicine. I like this prompt a lot and this was a school that I applied to and interviewed at. So. I think it was really good because it helped me you know, structure my essay for a variety of other schools because this prompt is very detailed and it also gives you a good template to how you should write your diversity essay, in my opinion. You know, you talk about your background and then how you can impact others through that or how you can learn from people of different backgrounds and ultimately you want to tie that in to how you can benefit your patients or how you can you know, um, use that in the field of medicine. So here are other prompts from Mayo Clinic and NYU, which don't necessarily you know, have as much detail, but you can still you know, draw upon and use the same essay that you would write and include all the information that the Minnesota essay asked for in these other essays, because I think that'll put you a leg up of other people if you do that. So in the Mayo Clinic, they just say, we are all unique in different ways. So when you see something like that, you know, think diversity. And it says, explain how your personal diversity manifests in your personal and professional activities. Pretty short. But if you just go and use the same essay and template, similar to how we saw in the Minnesota Twin Cities prompt, where you talk about you know, diversity, how your background is unique, how you can listen and reflect to other people and connect to different people of different backgrounds, what you can learn from people that come from different experiences, and then finally how all that's going to help you as a physician. I think that's a great essay, and that's how I would approach the diversity essay. What I like a lot about the diversity essay is that you can go so many different directions with it, and it's going to be different for everyone. What I like to do is first start off my essay with an opening that talks about why I think diversity is so important and what it means to me. You know, I think it's just so, so important to be able to listen to other people's stories and learn how they saw life through a different lens and what you can learn from other people. You know, overall, think about what you can teach other people and what you can get from others and how that can strengthen your whole community as a whole. I think this is great because you can think about two or three different hobbies that you have or experiences that you've had in your life and what you learn from those and how you can share that with other people in your class to make you all stronger together. So for me, I like to talk about different travel experience I had, meeting people of different cultures and all that I was able to learn from them. So that's one component of diversity in my opinion is being able to listen and learn from one another because someone who grew up in a different culture is going to be completely different in how they view life than how I view life but I can learn so much from their perspective and they can learn a lot from my own. I also talked about different experiences or skills that I had that I think are unique such as playing the piano and guitar from a young age, interacting with different church bands and different people throughout my life through music and I can share my joy for music with other people whether that's be teaching music to people, listening or sharing different types of tunes or rhythms I think that's interesting and how that perspective helps me view life differently because I always kind of see things in a music style or a musical tone and that might be different from other people 
you know that's just another example but find things that are unique for you things that you like and how you can contribute to a class or a community and I think you'll be just fine for this essay so as cliche as it might sound it's absolutely true we're all different and unique in our own ways and that's what the secondary essay on diversity is all about so feel free to comment below something that's unique and diverse about you because I would love to learn and get to know all of you a little bit better if you have any questions at all, just feel free to comment below or join my Facebook group and post on there. I will get back to you when I can. I hope today's video on secondary essays was helpful for all of you. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you thought it was helpful. And I look forward to seeing you all again soon. So have a great week and best of luck on your applications.